Hello, 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 beautiful strangers, and welcome back to another episode of You, and Me, and Her. When we last left off, uh, we adopted, adopted, quote-unquote, well, I guess we adopted Aoi, kind of, and with her came a cat, a kitten, uh, a little thing she named, was it Eru, and she claimed it was a transceiver cat just like she is and well we also had a favor to do for Miyuki so there is that as well uh, but without any further stalling let's get back into it shall we what do you think perfect thank you Miyuki cheeks over the uh, checks over the kitten's pictures then puts her phone away were you always this much of a cat fanatic I guess you could say I want what I can't have. Man, you should see the faces you make whenever you get all cat crazy. You look like a cross between a... Delete that from your brain now. Fine, fine. Sorry, but there's no way I'm going to be able to forget that monstrosity. Look at them, fast asleep in there. Almost like they really are mommy and baby. Following her lead, I peer into the living room from beyond the glass door. Aoi is curled up on the couch in her kitty onesie, holding Edu in her arms, snoring away. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, maybe. No amount of logic or reason could possibly hold a candle to that contented little smile. It's weird, you know. I always took the, I always took issue with the way she would act. I swore to myself I'd set her straight. But that little punk totally turned the tables on me. And the funny thing is, it's like a brush of fresh air. I just feel so free. She's completely right. Taking care of the kitten won't be easy, but I know we'd have regretted it otherwise. In the end, Sometimes it's important to just be true to your own desires. All right, I guess we should call it a night here and wait. W what do you want me to take me take some more pictures? No, that's not it. You want to crash here for the night? I don't think it's a good idea though. No. There's something I want to tell you. What the? Uh me Yuki? I'm done clinging to the past. Miyuki pulls me close until neither of us can see Aoi. Her body is turned towards me, and yet her face is turned away. We're too close, way too close. Time slows to a crawl. Kiss me. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Ever since Miyuki told me about the climax of the play, I've kissed her countless times in my dreams. Is this all a dream too? If so, I need to wake up fast. Wow, that was random. No, it's not random actually. Her lips twitch with her whisper. I can't let myself fall in love with her. And if we kiss, I definitely will, which means I know what I have to do. I know I need to get out of here, but my heart won't let me. I can feel it pounding in my chest. My heart wants this kiss to happen. I'm scared. I don't want my first kiss to be on stage, so I want to get some practice in first. P practice? Hold on, just checking something very quickly. Okay. Yeah, like, I want to get the hang of it, you know? Is that cool with you? Hell no. What? Go practice with your acting partner. This isn't my problem. Excuse me? What? It's not. But you said you'd help me figure this out. So I worked all my courage up to ask you... Oh, I worked up all my courage to ask you... To be your practice partner? Oh, okay, look, I know what I said, but what am I, your guinea pig? 
No, you've got it all wrong. Then why the fuck would you say that to me? You have any idea how I feel spending all this time with you? Stop! The glass door slides open and Aoi jumps in between us. No fighting allowed, you two. Aoi? Just when we were finally getting along, you're not allowed to... F do... What the... Aoi? Aoi's body topples sideways and I catch her in my arms. Her eyes wander, unfocused. What's wrong? You feeling sick? Doo doo. Aoi's battery is dying. Uh, Aoi? The second we walk outside, Aoi loses her balance. Acting quickly, I pull her arm over my shoulder to keep her upright. Wait, I'll help her you get her back to the... Not today, sorry. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Miyuki. I walk off with Aoi, leaving Miyuki standing there in silence. With one arm around my shoulders, Aoi hobbles down the street in her newly dried uniform. Are you sure you don't want to go back to the manga cafe? You could always stay a couple nights at my place. Or er, wait. You sure you want to go back to the manga cafe? You could always stay a couple nights at my place, you know. That would trigger a risky event flag. Okay, what about the hospital? Aoi needs to recharge. The hospital won't help with that. And then at least let me call you a taxi. Aoi will be fine. I swear, when she puts her mind to something, she refuses to be swayed. Thankfully, she doesn't seem to be running a fever, so it probably isn't serious. But if she gives me another heart attack like that, I'm definitely calling a taxi. Shinichi? Hmm? What's up? Why did you make friends with me? Oh, well... I dimly retrace my memories back to that day I first exchanged email addresses with Aoi. That was the day we officially became friends. Then she took a photo of me and Yuki together, and... I didn't want you to spread that photo around. That was your whole reason? Well, I mean, I had to do something, right? But you don't have the patience to deal with other people. She's not wrong. Muko Aoi is easily the most annoying girl in our class. Even just holding a conversation with her is exhausting. And yet, I went and did it anyway. I guess you reminded me of Miyuki. When we were little, Miyuki had trouble fitting in, too. She was a loner, just like you. Miyuki. So that's it. He wanted to help Miyuki. Doo -doo. Uh huh? One minute she's staggering along on her own two feet, and the next she collapses to the ground. Y you okay? Yeah. Oh, hold on a sec. I pull up my phone to call a cab. No thanks. This is where you say goodbye. I'm not just gonna leave you here. It's fine. Aoi speaks softly, her gaze distant. Once you're on a route, all the other girls fade into the background. So you'll forget about me soon enough. And you'll forget you left me here. For my dead body. Sighing, I crouch down at the side of the road. I hop on. Doo doo. I'll carry you. What for? Well, you won't let me call you a taxi. Besides, it'll be faster just to walk there. Now hop on. But are we said, hop on. I mean, what else are friends for? Friends. Okay. Aoi climbs on my back and we set off under the moonlight. She's so soft and warm and small. Wow, you weigh like nothing almost. Are you making sure to eat? Aoi drinks a lot of your baileys. You need something with more calories. You're going to fade away to nothing at this rate. But it has love in it. Love? 
I always been having so much fun every day. All those long forgotten emotions have come rushing back, and it's all thanks to you. I like you, Shinichi. I like you a whole bunch. I love you. Shinichi, your face is all red. Did Aoi sound like your girlfriend just now? N no. Aoi feels so happy now. Super happy. Being your friend is the best thing ever. Maybe there could have been an Aoi route, but not now. This is Miyuki's route. Well, uh, technically this is uh, bad end number one. Although technically it should be bad end number two because you can't actually do bad end number no, whatever. I, I told you, stop talking like we're in a... You don't get cucked, Shinichi. Excuse me. I actually don't remember this bad ending, so I can't actually say that for sure. <laughs> How we already patched the universe to make sure? Up there, on the roof, at the center of the world, Aoi updated the universe. But that was just her acting on a scene from the game. Right? Shinichi, you're going to be Miyuki's prince. Her prince? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Of all the words that could be used to describe me, prince isn't one of them. Step by step, we slowly crawl through the dusky town until we arrive at the manga cafe. Shinichi, thank you. Aoi hops off my back. You sure you don't need to go to the hospital? The Zappy recharged my batteries. All thanks to the event, CG. What CG is she talking about? The good news is she doesn't seem as dizzy as she was back outside my house. Get plenty of rest, you hear me? I'll look after Eru. Please do. Aoi waves at me. Bye bye. Have a good night. With that, she slowly disappears into the cafe. I watch her go until the elevator doors close. Thinking back, this has been one hell of a day. I still got some stuff to process myself. But... Meow. Hey there, little buddy. Wanna sleep in my bed? Eru and I slide under the covers. I can feel the exhaustion weighing down every inch of my body. I'm too tired to think right now. And yet, somehow, sleep evades me. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. No surprise there. Edu looks up and mews inquisitively at me. No, it's not your fault. Wait, that's right. We gotta have breakfast. Drink up, Furball. With Edu cradled in one arm, I use my free hand to tilt the syringe. Now then, what next? Morning. Shichi! Good morning! Stop shouting! Ha <laughs> ha! What's this? You, are you curious what's got me so worked up? Not in the least. Well, you see... Don't, ign don't ignore me. It turns out my brother, Ryujiro, has a crush on someone. Really? Really, really? I just got an email from the man himself? Well, that's good to hear. Now he can have a more healthy romantic outlet. Yeah. You're right. What? Aren't you happy for him? It's just, now that he's gone, it's surprising how much it hurts. My sad, phantom romance. It was your brother. 
But think about it, Shinichi. He was cute and he confessed to me. Does that sort of thing happen every day? It doesn't. It really doesn't. So I need some advice. Shinichi, you've got pretty friendly with Muko. Yeah, pretty close, you might say. And Muko is pretty friendly with Sona-san. There, you see that? S see what? The path to Sona-san's heart. Do not enter. Please, Shinichi, I'm begging you, please. Help me get to know Sona-san, please. No can do. And then mere strength, god of dreams. Find a different god. Huh? Speak of the angel and she appears. Shinichi? Uh huh? Huh? Hello, Shinichi? Can you hear me? What do you want? Normally, Miyuki's all smiles whenever she walks into the classroom, but today, her expression is stony. And she just spoke to me, the ultimate nobody. All at once, the room, the whole room, goes weirdly quiet. I need to borrow you. What? And go where? Just come with me. Unwilling to take no for an answer, Miyuki starts to drag me forcefully away. I reluctantly follow her out of the room, trying to ignore all the curious looks we're getting. Backstabber, backstabber, backstabber blues. Do 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 Yutaro's plenative song echoes out into the halls. By the way, I have no idea what that's supposed to sound like. Let's see. Okay, I get the picture. Uh, I was completely wrong. Yay! Oh god, now the whole class is going to start spreading rumors about me. And this is the pits. I'm room starting, you know. That doesn't matter. Uh, hey, that hurts. Quit pulling so hard. It's dead quiet here in the old gymnasium. Evidently, there's no first period gym class today. Miyuki drags me all the way to the center of the basketball court. So, what do you want? We're all alone by the stage. Miyuki glares deep into my eyes. There's going to be... A kiss. Shinichi. Oh, that that's... Not a good music trigger. You're hiding something from me about Aoi, aren't you? M me? Hiding something? Oh. Okay, so this isn't about the incident from last night, I take it? That night. That night in the rain when we found out we here. You figured it out somehow, right? Why did you go back to your house for? Uh, huh? Oh, right. God, if I was telling her I was looking for clues in a video game, she's gonna kick my ass. Tell me this instant. I went back to play a video game. A video game? Aoi's acting out scenes from a mobile game. She's been doing this ever since we first met. So, you used that game to predict the future? I wasn't exactly expecting her to be in here. I guess she's just really dedicated to the game script. <sighs> Miyuki lets out a heavy sigh. And she adopts a cat in the game? Yeah, you know when we found Edu? I swear, it was almost like a one-to-one -one reproduction. Reciting lines is one thing. Cat ears aren't exactly hard to come by. But what about the cat? Huh? That kitten, Edu. Oh, well, I was worried about leaving the little thing all by itself in my house, so I brought him to school. I'm letting him hang out on the roof for now, and... Not that. What I mean is, how did she just happen to find a stray cat? Did she go out of her way to get one from a shelter just so she could act out the scene from the game? Oh, well... She has a point. I can't imagine Aoi would go quite that far. Maybe it was a coincidence? A coincidence? Really? Maybe God answered her prayers? M Miyuki, wait, where are you g Home. 
I need to check something. I'll call you later. When is later? Usually, later is later. If somebody says, I'll call you later, that means, you know, not now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And the heck is her deal? Well, I, I can think of plenty of things, but in this sense that I'm, I'm not quite sure. S sorry I'm late. By the time I get back, first period's already started. I apologize to the teacher and return to my desk. <clears throat> Itaro passes me a note, smiling. Did she shoot you down? She did, didn't she? <sighs> I sigh and crumple the note into a ball. When I look up, oh, I always desk is empty. Is she still feeling sick from yesterday? Oh, it's scene end. I know it is a very slight bit early, but that's okay. I, I think here with this strangeness that's going on, uh, whatever feeling has overtaken Miyuki, um, I, I think we're going to end this episode here. And, well, next time, will we hear from Miyuki? Will we see Aoi? How is she doing? Is she feeling better? I mean, she seemed to be doing a bit better when we last saw her, but before that, she was not well at all. But, 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 find out the answer to that and more next time on You and Me and Her. I hope to see you all there. Thank you.